I hope you'll excuse the little hiatus that I had. I've been going on like vacations and um, hosting family and uh, just generally living my best. But the main reason I haven't had a video in the past couple weeks is because I got COVID a couple weeks ago. Uh, made it two and a half years and it finally got me. Uh, and I did lose my sense of taste and smell a little bit uh, for a few days. So I could not accurately review anything because uh, things tasted weird, but I'm all better now, feeling good. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get back into the reviews. Today, I am back on my dairy-free bullshit. I started the series um, where I was gonna go into the dairy-free flavors that Jenny had to offer. I got sidetracked by the uh, powdered jelly donut. Uh, and now I'm back with uh, another dairy-free option. So today I have Jenny's dairy-free cold brew with coconut cream. So this would be what I imagine would be her dairy-free alternative to her coffee with cream and sugar ice cream, which is delightful. Let us see what the little flavor story says here. We know, we know that Jenny's gets lazy with the marketing for the dairy-free flavors because just like it says on the other pints of dairy-free, it starts with, forget this flavor is dairy-free, it's as good as, if not better than, everything else we make. We know. It all starts with great ingredients, like the organic direct trade coffee beans our friends at Slingshot Coffee use to make cold brew just for us. Their coffee makes a light and bright sorbet with notes of stone fruit and cacao. Cacao? Is that like how you say? Whatever. Uh, a perfect match for a swirl of sweetened coconut cream great the little description on the front says light and bright slingshot coffee cold brew sorbet twisted with lush coconut cream so uh kind of clever actually for jenny to make this into a dairy free flavor because if you could use like coconut creamer for the coffee and then like the coconut ice cream is the dairy free base um the dairy free flavors have had a uh, varying levels of coconut flavor. All of them use coconut cream instead of like a dairy base, obviously, um, but you can't always taste it. You can taste the coconut in some flavors more than others. So um, I'm thinking though that as they market this as like the coconut is part of like an essential part of the flavor as like the creamer, um, it'll probably be stronger in this one. Uh, the biggest bummer about the fact that I got COVID was that I could not go to New York City with my family, which like I was supposed to, but a uh, shout out to my aunt who sent me um, some gifts from the MoMA and the Met because I couldn't make it, including a set of these like super cool ice cream spoons that I believe that she got from the MoMA. I think these were MoMA. Um, but like, I love that this is my favorite one because it looks like an oil slick and it's like rainbow colors. Um, but I have another one that's like gold, silver, uh, gunmetal, and like bronze maybe. And my favorite part about them is that they've got this like blunt edge. So it's like a little ice cream shovel. Perfect. Here we go. We got a lovely coffee swirl next to a lovely coconut cream swirl. It does smell very strongly of coffee. Uh, which is good because I am tired. So I'm gonna try the coffee bit first and then the creamer bit and then I'll try them together. See how it goes. I have not had this sitting out very long either. Like I literally just grabbed this from my storage freezer and um, it's still pretty hard. It also has a little bit of um, crystallization happening just like right around the edges. Again, because I've had it in storage for forever. Okay, so, honestly, right off the bat, what I'm noticing is that, like, the the texture of this one is not up to snuff, in my opinion. It is, um, it's kind of like, when you scoop into it, it feels like when you're scooping into an Italian ice, in which it is kind of icy, like, it, the, the base is more icy than it is creamy. So, I'm a little put out by that, but let's give it a shot. You know, though, the label did say sorbet, which I thought was weird. So maybe that's intentional. It definitely tastes like coffee. I, hmm. I 
I don't love the texture. Um, and I know that by every indication, I should have expected this to be this texture, but I, I didn't. I really thought it was gonna be creamy, like the um, coffee with cream and sugar. And it's not, and that's bizarre to me. But let's try the creamer part, the coconut cream. So this one, this one does have an ice cream consistency. So that's weird too, to have like two different consistencies in the same pint, but you know, let's go for it. Ooh. Well, that's lovely. So that's like, um, like a very rich, very creamy, um, like mouthfeel, I guess. Um, but the coconut flavor itself is super light. Like it's not like hitting you over the head. Mm. Well, that's delicious. All right, so I guess now I really gotta try it together to get to full experience. So let me do that. I'm gonna get a bit of the creamer here bit of this sorbet, coffee sorbet. I don't know, Jenny. I don't know. All right. There's, and you, you can like see on the spoon, right? Like, can you, can you tell? Is the camera quality? So you can see like how icy, how much icier that coffee part is than like the creamer part, which is already like melting, you know, because it's so creamy. Let's try it. does help. <laughs> so I wonder if this is like supposed to emulate the experience of drinking a coffee, right? Because the creamer really helps out the texture of the coffee part. Overall, I'm not thrilled though. I would say if I had to like rate the individual parts, I would give the coffee part like a three, maybe, maybe. And the coconut cream part, like a six. So, I mean, if we're gonna work with averages, uh, six plus three is nine divided by two is four and a half. So uh, yeah, I think that's fair. I'm gonna give uh, Jenny's Dairy-Free Cold Brew with Coconut Cream a four and a half out of 10 mostly because of the textural issue. I think it's bizarre, um, although innovative, that it, it, the texture of this coffee part, but it, you know, it just feels like, you know, like the pint of ice cream has been in the freezer for a year, which it has not been. I know I always joke about how long it's been in the freezer, but it's not been that long. It feels like it's been there for like a year and uh, just got completely freezer burned on the coconut, on the, um, on the coffee side only. So I don't know. I think if you're gonna go coffee flavor from Jenny's and you can tolerate dairy, just go with coffee with cream and sugar. His, I don't think this is it, but that's just my opinion. You go try it for yourself. That's the scoop. See you later.